Can you upload videos directly to Squarespace? Yes, as of January 2022, you can. We've only been asking for this for many years. Um, I want to take you through how to do this uh, and also share a little bit more information about this new feature with you. So first of all, let's talk about pricing. So uh, right now you can add up to 30 minutes of video time for free. Uh, if you need more than that, you have to actually subscribe to a member area plan. So that is the only way that you can get additional video time. So you really want to think about that. Um, it makes a lot of sense if you already have member areas and you're using it to sell, you know, classes online and that kind of thing. Um, then you will already have the additional storage with that. Um, if you don't have member areas and you think, oh, I don't really need it, well, then just have a look at what else you're doing right now. You know, are you just using YouTube, which of course, you know, is free, or are you on a Vimeo plan? Then I would say do some of your math and how, how important is it to you to upload videos directly to Squarespace? Um, because you can still embed them as well. So you can still host them on Vimeo, for instance, and just embed them in Squarespace. Um, so definitely do some of your math. If you look at member area pricing, um, you get you know up to five hours additionally uh, on the starter plan and on the pro plan, you get up to 50 hours. And I would definitely consider the core or the pro plan because the starter plan, um, unless you're not charging anything, then, then it doesn't matter. You know, if you're not using member areas to, uh, to sell anything, then and the five hours is enough, then you can just start with that, you know, because you will then not have to pay this horrendous transaction fee of 7%. Those 7% add up quickly. And of course, you know, they did that because they want you to go on a higher plan. Um, and uh, so, you know, again, do your math. Uh, and also you can only have uh, one member area on the starter plan and then a maximum of 10 on the pro plan. Um, but yeah, so that is how you get additional uh, video storage in Squarespace if you need more than 30 minutes. The other thing that's really important to note is that um, you cannot actually at the moment upload a video to a video block. So if you have your video block here, you still have to actually embed the video. We cannot upload to this. So that is another important uh, distinction. Um, we might be able to do that eventually, but right now it's not possible. So how does this work? Uh, so let me just find the right page here. So you just go, you know, either in a member area or, you know, anywhere you want, actually, you just add a page and you will now have the option of videos here. This is great. You can even, you know, even if you just go to uh, the not linked section, again, you can add video page here as well. And that's basically how this works. So I'm just gonna put this inside a member area here. So in member areas, this is one of the things I love about member areas is we can have all kinds of content in here. You know, we can just have blank pages, you can add a blog or a store or portfolio, uh, events calendar. I mean, all of this you can put inside a member area, you know, which is pretty great. Uh, so we'll just click on videos and then uh, you're given the choice of two layouts and you just pick one of them. You can change all of that uh, and then, you know, just um, give it a name your page. So we'll just call it yoga lessons and it will already give you some examples here, uh, which I really like because this gives you an idea of, you know, how you might want to structure it. Now, if you are familiar with Squarespace Commerce, then this might look very familiar to you. This is basically like a shop, you know, this is like, you know, like products in a shop are organized in a very similar fashion. So you would give your videos a category and then you can just organize it by category. And, and this is what I love, on your video page, you actually have a category navigation. How nice is that? Um, so let's go. So this is uh, into the video page. Uh, so this is basically the overview page. It's like a blog page, like a store page, you know, similar to that. Uh, go into edit and what I really love is that I can actually add sections now. I can just style it like a normal page, you know, so I could, for instance, you know, just uh, add a little, um, 
you know, a header here and, um, you know, give it a little, give it a little headline and um, let's make it a little smaller. Um, and then here, now one of the things, I don't like it when there isn't a lot of, when, when things are so close to the edge. We cannot actually style this uh, via the um, page um, editor. So here, so often what I do is I just add a blank section and then I'll just make it really small, you know, so I give it the smallest one. And this way I have a little bit of space here. So this just feels a little bit better to me. So we're still on the video page. And if you now go here to the video page uh, settings, click on that, and then we have some options here. So for instance, you could have your um, image uh, placed below the title. Um, you can also, you know, update your spacing between your videos and your rows. You can have up to four columns here and um, you can also, uh, you know, center your text if you like. Uh, you have some spacing options here, which is nice. And what I really like is the categories, you know, right now is a sidebar. You could also place it at the top here if you prefer. Um, now, I actually really love the sidebar, so um, I would probably use that. And then you have some settings here for your metadata as well. And um, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's save that for a moment. And let's now go into a video page, which is kind of like going into a product page or a blog post. And here we now have uh, the full video at the top. So this is always there. You always have, you know, the full page, full width video. And if you want to expand that further, uh, people can actually just click in the bottom right here on the expand uh, symbol and then you, you get the full view. And um, so this is just really, really nice, you know, and then you can just play it. You have some settings here. Um, and then down here, we also have a description. And if we go and click on edit, and click on edit the video, it will actually open up the video settings. And, um, and then the description is actually down here. So that is what you see down here. Uh, that is in the description. So what this means is we have limited um, styling options here. So um, yeah, we, we cannot use content blocks or anything like that. You just have some text styling options. Uh, so I would not use this for, you know, for a lot of text or anything like that. Um, and if you want to um, customize this, you can also customize it a bit by going to the edit icon here for the video page. And then here, you know, you can like align your text centered, for instance. You can take off the date if you don't want that. Um, you can even take off the categories as well. Although I think that's quite nice if you have multiple categories to actually show people where they are. One thing we can't unfortunately do is we cannot change the widths. And if you know me, you know that I'm quite allergic <laughs> where pages just have these long, wide um, paragraphs. Like on a, it doesn't matter so much if you have a smaller screen. And I, I think a lot of people design on smaller screens, so they, they don't know that. But if you have a larger screen, like I have a 21 inch, then you have this text that just goes from left to right and it's really you lose people you know i mean so this is why i would never use this for like like really um, long text you know I, I would put that somewhere else if if there was a lot i wanted to say in writing um but you know it's a video page so at the end of the day that is its main purpose so maybe this doesn't have to be you know great but i still wish we could we could uh, format the width a little bit better but you know that's okay so if we go back to edit video i just wanted to show you something here so to re you can either just replace it or you can you know trash it and then add a video here and then here you are given these options. So you can still add a video from uh, Vimeo or YouTube. Uh, you can upload a, uh, a file from your computer and you can even um, upload it from a library. So you actually get a video library, which is great. Now, the only way to get to this library right now is you have to actually go into a video into the settings for the video and do what we just did to be able to see the video library. 
and then you can just add the description as we uh, saw before and you have some styling options here as well for the text and then on the left here uh, we can go into categories i really like how categories work now in squarespace we actually get a list and you can um, either you know edit or delete them here you just uh, check them if you want to apply them and you can even you know move them around as well so that is really nice uh, and just like with blog posts and with uh, products, we have a status for the video. So you can actually create a draft for it. You can schedule a video. This is great. So again, if you have a yoga studio and you pre-record your classes, for instance, but you only want them to be released on a certain date, well, this is where you do that. So this is where you can schedule them. That is really, really nice. And uh, we have an SEO section here. And if you are using this inside a member area, then this doesn't apply because anything inside a member area is protected and not findable. But you know, if you are making this generally available to the public, then it's really nice to have these SEO options here as well. And um, yeah, so let us uh, just go back to our um, main page. And one last thing that I wanted to show you is if you don't have a video attached, um, then you will see on your in your list here on the left, uh, you will see this thumbnail. And then in your list here, this is what you'll see. So when you see this image here, this is not an indicator of progress <laughs> because that's what I thought at first. I thought, oh, this is nice. We're actually getting a progress bar, you know, to see how far we have watched a video. No, <laughs> that's not what this is. This is actually just a placeholder thumbnail uh, indicating that you still have to upload or embed a video here. Uh, so just be aware of that. <laughs> um, so have some fun, uh, play around with this. I feel this opens up a lot of options and it's just so beautiful. Uh, we can actually pre present beautiful online classes now uh, by using, you know, this in Squarespace. And uh, I mean, the styling options are just fantastic. And so, yeah, so I hope you have some fun. And if you enjoyed this video, um, give it a like or subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you so much.